Gabe Dannenbring is a middle school science teacher turned TikTok superstar. With almost 100,000 followers on Instagram and 1.3 million TikTok followers, this South Dakotan has been dubbed the hottest teacher on TikTok. His content pokes fun at the daily life of being a teacher. Let's take a look. Have you ever wondered what it's like to teach middle schoolers? Well, let me show you what it's like. You totally should have seen it. It was, it was totally nuts. What do you mean I'm talking? I'm not talking, he's the one who's talking. I didn't throw anything. This is dumb. This is dumb. Oh, this is so dumb. Welcome to the show, Gabe. I'm happy to be here. Growing up in a small town, South Dakota, what inspired you to become a teacher? You know, that's one of those things where I've always wanted to find a way to have positive impact in someone's life. And I originally thought I was going to go work in the med field. And when I went to college, I was initially going to be like a biology major, thinking I was going to become a doctor. And then I quickly learned the second I see blood, I faint. <laughs> I can't do it. So I was like, well, I have to totally reevaluate what exactly I want to do. And I'm like, what are the things that I'm passionate about? And I decided that I'm really passionate about science and I'm passionate about helping other people. I'm like, well, let's just become a science teacher. And it was kind of ironic. My dad is a science teacher. Wow. So like, you know what? I kind of like what he does. Let me try giving that a shot. And now that's what I do. So why did you decide to start TikToking about your experience as a teacher in a middle school? Mm -hmm. So this all started by accident. It was about a year ago um, and I was sitting at my desk and at this time my TikTok probably had six followers. There were like my girlfriend <laughs> and then like my three brothers, like three of my brothers were following me. And I decided to play a, a review game and the review game was like a Kahoot. Like a lot of a lot of people who go to school, they, they know what Kahoot is and there's a very familiar soundtrack that comes with it. So I put my phone on my desk and I'm like, all right, I'm going to surprise the kids and then I'm going to hit play on Kahoot and see what their reaction is going to be. And they lost their minds. They totally lost it. So that night I'm like, oh, this is kind of a funny video. Maybe I'm, I'm going to post it. So I post the video and that night I'm on a date with my girlfriend and I keep getting TikTok notifications. And she's like, why are you getting so many TikTok notifications? I'm like, well, I made a video. It's kind of funny. There's probably like 10 likes or something on it. All of a sudden that night, we hit a million, a million views. Wow. It kept going and going and going. And then that video ended up getting 41 million views or something. And I'm like, well, all of a sudden, I kind of have a platform. Let's start making some videos and seeing if the internet likes seeing my face and the dumb content that I make. And here we are now in January and over over a, a million followers. and. You know, it's it's been a crazy experience. Crazy, crazy experience. Wow. Do you have a favorite video that you've made thus far? Wow. There's, it's so funny where the ones that I think are hilarious end up performing the worst on, on, <laughs> on the platforms. There was one that I made. It was, uh, it was as if a, a teacher was giving like a post-class press conference, just like NBA players do. I thought that was hilarious. The internet didn't think it was that funny, no. <laughs> but I, I, that was probably my personal favorite. Do your students watch your TikTok videos? Because you're so popular, over a million views, they, they must have heard about it. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 they've seen all my videos, and the thing about middle schoolers is they are so harsh, they think I'm like the lamest person ever. They don't think I'm that funny, and one of the things that's always funny, whenever I make a good video that'll get a lot of views, they'll come back and like, Hey, where's the percent of the money? We know you get paid per view. Where, where's our share? Where, where's the money? So I try to give back to them as much as I can, whether it be treats or donuts or whatever it is. What kind of other feedback have you been getting from your videos, either from other people, from other teachers? It's It's been overwhelmingly positive feedback, which is awesome. I have, I have a lot of teachers that will reach out and they'll say, hey, your videos are so relatable. We feel the exact same. A lot of middle school teachers will reach out and be like, oh my gosh, I'm glad that I think the way that you do because I thought I was going crazy. <laughs> so so it's been a lot of positive feedback. And I've even had people who don't work in education that say, hey, I love watching your videos. You know, they're so relatable, remind me of my kid or remind me of when I was in middle school. So I, I'm very lucky that all the videos seemingly have been perceived very well by the public. 
In some of your videos, you poke fun at things students may say, like throwing paper into a trash can, like a basketball player. Do you think you've done any of these things when you were a student? You know, I've thought about it and I, I talked to my parents about it. And I'm like, God, these middle schoolers are, they're just, they do the weirdest things. And my parents are like, wait, you did the same thing. <laughs> and now that I think back on it, like, oh yeah, I did do that. Like I was that middle school boy who was yelling Kobe every time I'd shoot the bat or I'd shoot a piece of uh, paper into the trash. I was the middle schooler that was jumping and hitting the top of the door frame every time I walked into a classroom. So. It's like, okay, I, I do see a little bit of myself in my students, which is kind of funny. What's your favorite thing about being a teacher? My favorite thing is definitely thinking, well, I think I'm making a positive impact in their lives. You know, that's something where I hope that I am. And I've had a lot of students that, you know, their home life might not be the best. And I've been able to kind of step up and, and help them out in, in a, a number of different ways and just be a positive male influence in their lives for, for a number of kids. So that's the best part about teaching. Do you have any topics that you're looking forward to making videos on in the future? Yeah, there's, there's a lot of things that I wish I could make videos on. Uh, but I'm a little nervous how the internet is going to take it because the internet is a bit of a, of a ruthless place. One of the things that I really do want to start making more videos about is kind of fashion, some acting stuff. Um, but ultimately, most of my content is still going to definitely be school related because that's, that's what people want to see. So it's going to be a lot of what we've already seen, student quotes, uh, funny things that, that students do, that teachers do. Uh, you know, looking at different ways that kids think they're clever and try to cheat on tests in class. Everybody gets a kick out of those videos. So it's going to be a lot of the same. I've got some, some new ideas that are coming. What do you think about your title as the hottest teacher on TikTok? <laughs> you know, I, I've seen a few people commenting that. And, and every time I see it, I call my parents. I'm like, guys, thank you for the genetics. This was, uh, this was all, all my parents. I had no say in that, except I do have a little bit of a say in my haircut. I, I, I do thank my hairstylist quite a bit. My, your haircut, thank you. Thank you so much for not making me look like I've got a bowl cut. Do you have any funny, memorable stories from when back when you were in middle school? Oh, man. You know, it wasn't that long ago that I was in middle school. And I remember one of my craziest memories was we had this old teacher. His name was Mr. Miller. And he seemed like he was going on about 80 years old and he had zero filter whatsoever. And he would say some things that like as an eighth grade boy, I was like, oh, that seems like really like unfiltered. That's interesting. And now that I look back on the things that he said, I'm like, holy cow, I can't believe a teacher would actually <laughs> say those things in class. I'm like, I can't wait for when I can be that old guy who can kind of say, just speak his mind and doesn't really have any negative that comes from it. Because it comes a point when you're kind of just an old guy, no one's going to say that you're saying something wrong. <laughs> well, thank you, Gabe, so much for coming on the show. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Julia. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching Inbox with Julia Cosby. You're watching Tag TV. So middle schoolers continue to be the most humbling creatures on the face of the planet. So most days in class, I wear a jacket. And today I forgot to bring my jacket. I left it at home. And my outfit ended up being black on black. But here's the outfit. It's black on black on black. Even got black shoes with it. My middle schoolers roasted me because of this. Here's some of the things that they said to me. Do you think wearing all black makes you look tough? It doesn't. Black on black. You kind of look like a Dementor. Oh, black on black. Are you emo now, Mr. Danabring? All black, huh? Who died? You're wearing all black. Are you okay?